Hey, what is good cats crew? It's your boy cats. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well today. Yes, so okay, we've got Tom McDonald. I don't care. Um, but I do care about the sunlight that's in my face right now. Hope it doesn't mess up the video. If I do that, it can kind of hold off the sunlight a little bit. Okay, cool, we'll do that. Um, we got Tom McDonald, I don't care. This was left on the, the recent video that I did of Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. Um, I know you guys said there were some other songs I need to check out, so, um, and I like Tom at the end of the day, there's, there's no denying that, I think you can see from previous videos, he was one of the first rappers that I was doing on my channel, um, and like I said, I was going to spend a lot of time this year on hip hop, so, um, yeah, that's what we're doing, and uh, Tom McDonald, I definitely wanted to make sure that I uh, go through the history of his songs and, and uh, discover more songs that we've missed, so, um, yeah, if you like this reaction, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Shout out Hog family as well. You guys are so supportive of your comments yesterday. Are really, really, really positive on the video. And thank you for kind of noticing, um, you know, the effort I tried to understand the music and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, big respect to you guys. Let's get into this one. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoy it. And you want more Tom McDonald, then thumbs up this video. And also, come spam the comment section because if it helps the reach, then we reach more hogs. So, let's go. I'm sick to death of hearing the complaints Everybody wants to tell me how I've changed I think somehow I'm responsible for bodies filling graves If I made Ooh. the songs they wanted, were they fans I could have saved? Man, that's a lot of weight, wait I thought Whoa. it would be great to entertain And now I understand why mumble rappers say the things they say They don't want any obligation to the fan base they create I guess ah. my morals won't allow me to be famous If it's fake, I barely made it, I was living Fucking hell, boys I don't. I guess my morals won't allow me to be famous. Sorry. Uh, I guess my morals won't allow me to be famous if fame is fake. And now I get why mumble rappers say what they say because basically saying that they don't want the. If you if you just speak about crap, you don't have to deal with the responsibility of being an individual with uh, a, a, an opinion. You know, you can tell a story, but. You know, you can tell a story and people can relate to that story, but you can speak it like third person. Whereas when you're talking about uh, controversial political issues as an artist, you're basically directing it saying, oh, this is my thoughts. You know, uh, you know, slander me if you don't agree, basically. You know what I mean? So I get, hey, 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 that's the clever shit right there, boy. That's some clever shit. Entertain, and now I understand why mumble rappers say, say the things they, they say. They don't want any obligation to the fan base they create. I guess my morals won't allow me to be famous if it's fake. I barely made it. I was living in the ghetto, always praying my potential wouldn't go to waste before I could escape it. I just had a mental breakdown. Rent was due, I couldn't pay it. Killing roaches, scraping guts off all the plates and being patient. Hey, living in the hood could've got me killed. Wow. Kitchen full of rats, stomach never filled. They cut off the lights, could've paid the bills. I was always sick, couldn't buy the pills. Girl. Oh man. This is hard, mate. Wow, this is like talking about the struggle. This is what we spoke about previously, but he's he's always been open to us guys about as well, even to this day, the, the struggle that he went through to get to where he is, man. Just scraping cockroaches off plates, dirty, whatever you say, cleaning up cockroaches, scraping plates, couldn't afford the rent, and just waiting patiently, praying that like, I don't die before my talent goes to waste or something. Like, mate, come on, that's some shit right there, boy. Wow. And being patient, hey, living in the hood, could've got me killed. Kitchen full of rats, stomach never filled. They cut ah. off the lights, could've paid Woo. the bills. I was always sick, could've buy the pills. Bro, he said, he said uh, living in the hood nearly got me killed. Kitchen full of rats nearly made me ill. Oh, mate, oh, wow, this is this is next level. Plates and being patient, hey, living in the hood, could've got me killed. Kitchen full of rats, stomach never filled. They cut off the oh. lights, could've paid the bills. I was always sick, could've buy the pills. Girlfriend almost left me, we were broken. We were desperate right before it got too heavy. I went viral off a record, hey. Never signed a deal, I did it on my own. I made wow. all the beats, I write every song They did not believe I knew it all along Told me I was weak, I showed them I was strong Never should have bet against me Thought my anxiety was gonna wreck me Thought my depression would get in my head for a second and leave But it never left me Wow Everybody wow. says I changed up, changed up Boy. I had nothing in I Boy, we gotta talk about this We gotta talk about this track Um, You know the people, so many people spoke about saying that, like, just before you were your hardest time, it blows up. Like, uh, there's been a few stories that I've heard of artists or other people, successful people, who have said, right when you think it's over, like, it's, it's something happens. So, but like, the trial to get there can really, like, when you think you're done, you're not done. 
and then when you really, really go through the trials and tribulations, and it's really like you spent years doing something, and you're like, it's not working. Something happens. Like it's, it's almost like a sign. Like just don't, like just keep going no matter what. Just keep. This is my advice to anybody watching who's who's a hog or a fan of uh, Tom's music or anybody who's just trying to do something like like myself like trying to do reaction videos and entertain people and bring, um, you know, bring, build a community of people who enjoy watching things with me. So this is a very tough thing for me to do. Like I've been doing this, what, a year and something and you've got 129,000 subscribers still grown, still amazing. You know, we're not at a million though. We've got to get to that a million subscriber rate. So, you know, the, str the struggle's there for me. I've got to keep hustling no matter what um, and keep having a good time and just know that your things are going to work out. So yeah, man, I agree with everything he said, bro. Love that. Came on. Honestly, it's bothered me since I've become this famous. People comment like I don't see what they're saying. I get ah. death threats every day and saw my family call me garbage, call me racist. Try to tell my therapist that I'm afraid I can't explain it. Uh, Back up, don't wow. touch me, I'm anxious. All of this money I'm banking, don't make me happy. I can't win, don't get it wrong. No, I'm thankful, wanted attention. It happened, pressure from standards established. Amplify anger and sadness, can't deny that it did damage. Uh, bro, I really got an Eminem vibe then. Like when he said, all oh, this pressure, I'm anxious, like, oh, f but don't get it twisted, I'm grateful. Like, I get the m and M, like, the way I am sort of thing. I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? I said, but, like, do you know what I mean? I just get that kind because of, I know m and was his inspiration for, for writing music, so you're going to see uh, a similarity in the music. Uh, of course you are. Um, same with NF, other artists like that. Um, but yeah, like, I just, yeah, man, sit. Established, amplify anger and sadness, can't deny that it did damage. Hey, uh, take the bucks I made, take off all... Bro, he said it did, uh, it's his, uh, he, he lists the an anxiousness. Basically, he was listing the, what had happened, and he said, can't deny that it did damage. See, now this is another thing, what people go through. Like, it damages you. You, cannot, you can't help what you're going through. Things in my life have damaged me to either make, you know, you just can't get escape from that. You know, but it does build you stronger. This is one of the, my, my favorite things I like to say, like, um, I don't even know how to word it, but it's in my head. Um, you know, everything you go through will teach you to, to be stronger, but the problem is you have to go through these things to make you stronger, but they will damage you along the way. So it's like, oh, I need to be like mentally strong over here, and, you ha and you're over here, so you go through all of this, and then you finally get to there, but you feel different because you've just been, your mind's been through the, the stages to get there, so you can never go back to being here. So the same person that wanted to be there is going to be different once he reaches it. Do you know what I'm saying? Wow. I feel like a philosopher right now, bro. <laughs> Yo. Change, take the braids out of my hair, laser the tattoos off my face. Stop comparing ah, wow. me to hops and token NF and M. I think they're great, oh, but so shit. am I, and I don't want to be them. And I oh, never oh, change, okay. I'm not the same. No, I'm yeah. not the person that I was once. Alcoholic, always calling mama, always trying to borrow 50 bucks. Uh, hey, I put my parents in debt. I have embarrassed my friends. I didn't care if I died. I was honestly hopeful that I wouldn't wake up again. But ah. I'm back now. Oh. Knock me down to that man, but now I stand proud. Last round, believe me, I'm ready to scrap until they back down. Doctor Ow. gave me pills, told me I was sad. Never took them though, threw them in the trash. Made a couple mil, wow. money doesn't last. Trying to smile a bit, living in the past. Everybody Ooh. says I changed up, changed wow, up. Cause boy. I had nothing and I came, came up, up, came, came up. up now like someone they're afraid uh, of, afraid love of. That so say I love that way he says that in the chorus. Now I'm someone they're afraid of. Afraid of, like, like now I'm someone they're afraid of. Love that. I just, it's a powerful word. Say like, some, yo, everything you say, bro. I don't care, no, I, I don't, don't care, care, bro. Fame won't ever make me change, so I don't care, yeah, no, no, I, I don't, don't care. care. See this Gucci, I bought it. I'm no sellout, homie. Stop it. This is a symbol of the work I did that's finally acknowledged. This ah. is robbed at corner stores while getting soda and some chocolate. This is bullied all my life by kids at school. I ain't forgot it. This is profit ah, that wow. I got from sacrificing food and water. This ah. is dollars I had after finally paying back my father. This ah. is failing grades and skipping class and dropping out of college. You can't Ooh. stop me. That's your problem. I will get it if I want it. Stop oh. telling me that I switched Woo. sides. My life changed. I'm a different guy. My mom and proud. My girl stoked. My sister happy I didn't die. If they're mad instead of saying, Tom, I wish you the best. Of course I changed. I had to go and buy a bulletproof vest. Cause wow. I was stressed, yeah. I'm a mess, yeah. I need rest, yeah. Wasting energy on enemies I never met, yeah. I need oh, meds, wow. yeah. 
I need bed, yeah. What the heck? I should send a text to see if I still have some friends, yeah. Now that wow. I'm healthy and nobody helped me, I wanna get every penny independent. I'm a menace, I'm a wreck it. All my records got a message, I'ma spread it. And I'm still the person my mama nurtured to become this version. So shout out, mom. I don't have a sleep. Every night is long, everything is on me, Tom. Everybody wow. says I changed up, changed up. Cause I had nothing and right I up. came up. Bro, I loved everything that he mentioned in that last verse as well. Um, and then to end it off with, like, everything is on me, Tom. Like, just, what, like, you can see, like, oh, but that's more clever than you probably think. Like, everything's on me, Tom, labelling everything. Like, it, that weight is all on him. Like, like, from even the good to the bad, it's all on Tom. He did it. He brought himself up. The good, the good times, the bad times, everything he's just spoke about in this whole song, it's all on Tom. Like this is Tom's story. Like, it, man, it's crazy. Like this song. Came up, nah. And obviously, he said like the his mum. Shout out to his mum for kind of giving him like the way she raised him. Kind of uh, is what he's kept today. The, the his morals and stuff like that. So come on, man. Sick, mate. Oi, shout out to Tom McDonald, bro. That's fucking, that's what I'm, that is, that, a song like that is what I wanted to listen to today. Is, if I had to sit there and go, I want to react to something, uh, this is what it, this would have to been, this, I couldn't have asked for a better reaction. This is exactly what I love to talk about. He, his reaction, his videos make me react better. That's crazy to say, though, know, because the topics that he talks about, I'm very passionate about, and I feel like I understand Tom when he's when he's when he's talking. So, yo, love that. You relating to an artist is a magical thing. So, thank you guys for tuning in, Hog Family. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.